Hello friends, welcome to my channel Digital Wave. In this today's tutorial, we will discuss some objective type questions of computer network and this is our part 2 of computer network objective type questions. We also uploaded part 1, so you can find the link of that video in our description box. Okay, so now we will discuss some more questions of the computer network. Okay, so the question is which of the following is correct IPv4 address? So options are 124.201.3152. After that, second option will be 01200.128.123. Next option is 300.142.210.64. After that, fourth option is 10111001.32.16.8. And the last option is 128.64.0.0. Okay, so answer will be E 128.64.0. Okay, so why? So this is the correct IPv4 address because IPv4 is a standard numbering system that uses four integers from 0 to 255. The IP address is a group of numbers that identify user system on the network okay next question is which of the following ip address can be used as loop back addresses okay first option is 0 .0 0.0.0.0 second option 127.0.0.1 and the third option is 255 255 255 255 okay after that 0. and 3 time 255 so answer will be 127.0.01 okay so b answer will be correct why because a loopback address is a special ip address whose ip address is between 127.0.0.1 to 127.255.255.255 so it is reserved for loopback it doesn't require a physical connection to a network next question is the term when stands for so i hope you all know about this answer okay wide area network wide access network wide area network and wide access net so answer will be c wide area network okay next question will be which of the following can be used as a medium for 802.3 ethernet okay so answer will be options will be a thin coaxial cable a twisted pair cable a microwave link and a fiber optical cable okay so answer will be a microwave link a microwave link cannot be used as a medium for 802.3 ethernets because a microwave link is a transmission network that utilizes a beam of radio waves in the microwave frequency spectrum to relay video audio or data between two places next question is what ip address class allocates 8 bit for the host identification part so uh, options will be class a b class C, class D, okay, so answer will be class C, so C option is correct here, in class C only 8 bits are reserved for the host ID and 24 bits are reserved for the network ID. Next question is the term IANA stands for, first option is internet assigned number authority, internal assigned numbers authority internet associative numbers authoritative and the fourth option is internal associative numbers authority so answer will be internet assigned numbers authority okay so a option is correct here next question is how many versions available of ip so answer will be sorry options will be six version four version 2 version and 1 version so answer will be 
two versions okay there are only two ip versions are available in the present ip version 4 and ip version 6 next question is which layer of the tcp ip stack correspond to the osi model transport layer first option is host to host second option is application third option is internet and the last option is network access okay so answer will be host to host the host to host layers confirm the transport layer of the osi model this layer is responsible for the final correspondence and error free distribution of data next question is an aloha network uses an 18.2 kbps channel for sending message packets of 100 bits long size calculate the maximum throughput okay so options are 5999060275027 okay so answer will be c 6027 okay next question is on a simplex data link which of the following is a possible error recovery technique okay first option is backward error detection sorry backward error correction the use of hamming codes automatic repeat request downwards error correction so answer will be the use of hamming code the hamming code is an error recovery technique that can be used to detect and correct the errors it was developed by rw hamming okay next question is which of the statement is correct with regards to the time division multiplexing and ITS variants okay so we can select two or more options from these options okay so first is statistical tedium makes efficient use of bandwidth only if the arrival pattern of the data stream is probabilistic second option is tdm requires the transmitter and receiver to be synchronized periodically tdm performs efficiently if the arrival pattern of the data stream is probabilistic last option is statistical tdm is efficient if the data stream is deterministic okay so answer will be a and b okay there are two options we have okay so both a and b are correct answers the term ipv4 stands for okay so first option is internet protocol version 4 internet programming version 4 international programming version 4 and none of these so answer will be internet protocol version 4 next question is the term lan stands for first option is local area net local area network local array network local array net okay so answer will be local area network next question is which of the throw is share the data of two computer first option is library second option is network third option is grouping and the fourth option is integrated system so answer will be network there are many ways to share data between two computers but a network connection is established before data sharing okay next question is in specific if the system use separate protocols which one of the following devices is used to link two systems so first option is repeaters so first option is repeaters second option is gateway third option is bridge and the fourth option is hub so answer will be gateway if the system used separate protocols gateway device is used to link to systems okay next question is how many digits of the data network identification code identify the country so first option is first three first four first five first six none of the above okay so answer will be 
first three. The first three digit of the data network identification code is identify the country. Okay, so first digit to identify a zone and other two digits to identify the country within the zone. Next question is which of the following method is used to broadcast two packets on the medium at a time? First option is collision, second is synchronous and third option is asynchronous and the fourth option is none of the above. So answer will be collision. A collision occurs when two or more computers are attempting to transfer data across a network at a time. Okay. Next question is which of the following is true with regard to the ping command. So first option is ping stand for the packet internet generator. The ping command check the port level connectivity between source destinations and points. Third option is ping summarizes the packet loads and round trip delay between two IP and points. And the last option is the ping command activates the RARP protocol of the IP layer. So answer will be C. Ping summarizes the packet loose and round trip delay between two IP end points. Next question is the private key in asymmetric key cryptography is kept by sender, receiver, sender and receiver and none of these. So answer will be receiver. Why? Because only the receiver keeps the private key its purpose is to ensure that the message can only be decrypted by the intended receiver okay next question is which of the following algorithm is not used in asymmetric key cryptography first option is rsa algorithm second option is defi hellman algorithm third option is electronic code book algorithm and last option is none of the mentioned okay so answer will be electronic code book algorithm so a electronic code book algorithm is a mode of operation for a block cipher where each frame of text in an encrypted document referred to a data field in other terms the same plain text value would also give the same value for the cipher text okay so answer will be electronic code book algorithm next question is in the cryptography the sequence of the letter is rearranged by transposition cipher substitution cipher both a and b and none of these so answer will be transposition ciphers so a predefined technique shuffles the sequence of letters in a plain text message in the transposition cipher what is the maximum efficiency of pure aloha at g equal to 1 by 2 so options are 1.89 17.99 third option is 9 18.99 and the fourth option is 18.4 okay so answer will be 18.0 okay the maximum efficiency of pure aloha formula is g multiply by e key power minus 2g okay so we have to put these uh, terms in the formula and we will get the answer okay next question is what is the maximum efficiency of slotted aloha at g equal to 1 so again we will put this term in the formula and we will get the answer okay so options are 36.8 35.8 35.5 and 37.8 okay so answer will be 36.8 the maximum efficiency of slotted aloha formula is i again uh, dictating this formula g multiply by e ki power minus g okay and g is given here so g equal to 1 and we will multiply 1 into e ki power minus 1 okay so we will get 1 by e Okay, so then answer will be 0 0.368 so 36.8 percent okay next question is which of the following statement is 
ट्रू अबाउट एरर डिटेक्शन टेक्निक यूज ऑन कम्युनिकेशन लिंक सो ऑप्शन आर साइक्लिक रिटेंडेंसी चेक सीक्वेंस कैन डिटेक्ट एज वेल एज करेक्ट एर एरर डिटेक्शन कैन नॉट बी यूज ऑन सिंप्लेक्स लिंक थर्ड ऑप्शन इज हैमिंग कोड कैन डिटेक्ट अप टू थ्री बिट एर एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज नन ऑफ दीज ओके सो द आंसर विल बी ऑल ऑफ दीज सॉरी डी ऑप्शन विल बी ऑल ऑफ दीज ओके so all these terms will be the answer next question is the correct order of corresponding osi layers for having functionalities of routing and reconciling machine representation differences with shared access resolution and ascii test protocol is first option is network physical transport data link सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क फिजिकल डेटा लिंक एप्लीकेशन थर्ड ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क प्रेजेंटेशन डेटा लिंक एप्लीकेशन एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क प्रेजेंटेशन फिजिकल ट्रांसपोर्ट ओके सो आंसर विल बी सी नेटवर्क प्रेजेंटेशन डेटा लिंक एप्लीकेशन ओके सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आवर पार्ट टू ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आंसर of computer network so on our channel you can find some tutorials also okay so some office tutorials are also there and some tech videos are also there and in the some technical subjects programming in c artificial intelligence and object oriented oriented concepts in java tutorials are also available and if you gain some knowledge from this video tutorial then please like and share our this video and if you want more video like this then you can write in comment section on which subject you want these objective type questions and answer with explanation we are also available on facebook so you can redirect to our facebook page by clicking on the link that is given in the description box okay so please do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you